picture a women's basketball player, and ETSU's Raven Dean fits the frame. Raven has a God-given physique that you just can't build. I mean, if you had to, you know, create your ideal structure for a basketball player, she's got it. She's big, strong, powerful, but yet she has a lot of finesse and great touch around the rim. But a knee injury slowed the freshman's development and rattled her confidence. A lot of it's mental. It's getting past the I'm hurt. You're not hurt. You're recovered. You know, you, you, you may have a cadaver ligament or something going on, <laughs> but I, I think Raven's past that. It is more mental than it is physical. Um, Sometimes it gets to me, but um, these past couple of weeks, I've been telling myself to look past it. It's in the past, and I'm clear now. Dean's drive and competitive spirit comes from growing up in a family with six brothers and sisters and former Carolina Panther Musin Muhammad as a patriarch. Physically uh, working out, you see what it, it takes to be that good. Um, he always talked to us, helped us uh, mentally, taught us what it... Um, what you have to go through, tell us about the process. And although football may be her father's claim to fame, basketball has always been in the picture for Dean. I didn't really play anything else. Um, I do, I, well, we, did, uh, we do a lot of football type workouts and drills, which help a lot with speed. You probably can't tell because of my injuries, but uh, in footwork, but I think that helped a lot growing up. 11 games into her return from that knee injury, the Bucks are starting to see flashes of what this freshman can become. She needs minutes for us to be successful. She is wildly talented, and if she stays the course that I think that she's on, she could have an opportunity to be player of the year in this conference by the time she's a senior. Um, but I can't be the only one that believes that. Dean and the Buck women return to the court on Thursday for a big Southern Conference matchup at Sanford.